Saturday. Boy, do I have a story for you guys. Um, as you can see right here, <laughs> we have a new possible member to the family. I haven't made up my mind. Okay, no, just kidding. Let me not even BS myself. So the story behind this kitty, let me show you guys. I know she, he or she looks black, but she's a dark brown. I don't even know the sex, but we keep calling it a she. So hopefully it's a she. But um, yesterday at work, I got a call that my brother's girlfriend found a stray right, at um, a Sam's Club in their area that was clearly abandoned um, crossing the street and cars were driving around it. So they called me and they sent me a picture. They were like, will you take it? And I was like, yeah, you know, I'm not going to say no. Um, so yeah, they sent me the picture and I was like, oh my God, I can't say no, but I don't know if I want another cat. Um, is it healthy? Blah, 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 whatever. Long story short, I agreed to take it in to foster it. Um, we bathed it and there was no fleas on it she looks here she looks pretty healthy very small though mm -mm. very very small um it is it is sneezing but i don't know if that's just a normal thing in kittens but um yeah we went yesterday and got her it because we don't know your sex we got it some stuff it may need um and i've learned that the type of litter that i have is actually dangerous for kittens because they can choke on it so um i'm gonna run to pet smart in a couple of minutes to see what i can get it but it slept all night it's been playing um and yeah <laughs> i really don't know if we're gonna keep it How can people just abandon these, like, small, innocent creatures? I don't get it. I genuinely don't get how they can abandon them. I have no idea what type of cat it is. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know. Does it look like a Persian or some type of those fancy cats? And, and uh, we're also thinking that she was just probably abandoned yesterday because she's in great condition. She was a little dirty, that's it. But look at her. So yeah, there was a lot of excitement over the new kitty last night. Um, but today, back to life. I don't plan on going out today. I need to get schoolwork done and I need to study, so. I hate chemistry, guys. Alright, guys. It's been a little bit while later. It's still Saturday. But I have not been productive at all when it comes to school. Um, I did some of the labs that I didn't know I was behind on until the professor emailed me. I'm finishing up my math project and I think I can knock out the paper as well that is due tomorrow. Um, and I'll, it's literally a joke. Um, so I'm not worried. I plan to get those things out of the way tonight and then start my studying tomorrow because I'm so behind in that. Um, but let me show you guys the cat. I've literally been home all day. I've only gone out to um, buy her new litter. And then I think for this week, um, yeah, this upcoming week, I'm going to have to find a sitter to come and check on the kitten while we're at work. So we have stuff to figure out. But let me show you guys what she looks like right now. Keep her in the bathroom with this gate up so there's no way of Athena getting in unless she jumps. Uh, this is like her bedroom. She's in her little bed. But I got her this collar so um, it has a bell and that way I'm able to tell 
where she is at all times. Is this gonna focus? But here she is. Um, she, between last night and today, she finished one of these um, mother and baby um, uh, containers of wet food. So the doctor said that she should be eating one of these throughout the day. So this is the wet food that they recommended for us. Um, I grabbed the wrong one. This one's mother and baby, but the other, the rest are just kitten um, ones. So she's supposed to eat these throughout the day. Uh, she finished one between last night and today, and then she has her wet food out over there. So that's where I'm keeping all of this. She is eating the wet food and she is learning to drink water. Um, she's doing very good. The vet said she's extremely underweight, so we're gonna work on that. Clearly, she's exhausted. This is dirty, but from um, when I washed it, I guess there must have been something in the wash. So I sacrificed this. I'm gonna get rid of it after she gets another bath. Um, but yeah, she's really small. She loves that toy. And then I have not started the introduction phase with Athena. Athena usually will hang out right here. Yeah, she's not gonna come. I am I am really scared to introduce them. I've done my research and I think tomorrow we will start, you know, being more proactive about getting them together. Um, I think yesterday and today they would play from behind the door with the door closed, but Athena hissed and I know that we're not supposed to punish that type of behavior um and athena is very curious so i think she wants the door open so she can see because when i do open it they're just like literally staring at each other um and i've been rubbing this on the kitten and giving it to athena and going back and forth i know i risk the chance of their transferring fleas a uh, flea fleas yeah fleas to athena but i really don't think she has any so i think i'm okay um and i put it in the kitten's bed so that she becomes familiar with its scent um and then vice versa so that athena gets familiar with the kitten's scent so yeah baby steps baby steps but i want to eventually have her roaming the house but she's really small and she fits into like any little corner so i don't know how much of a good idea that'll be. She's, I think she's gonna be in the bathroom for a while. This will be her headquarters. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's what I've been up to. Right now, I'm just gonna let her be. I'm gonna turn off the lights and let her rest because we went out. Um, and then I'm just gonna go sit at my desk and have some schoolwork done. But happy Memorial Day weekend. It's been raining, it's cold, it's been awful. <laughs> currently 4 11 i just got done having dinner and um the little one just woke up so i figured it was time to stimulate her and i went ahead and did that she is she went a lot she's i think today she's gone three times and both of the times i did it, it was a lot of urine so it's definitely there's definitely an increase from the time where i got her so i think that's a really good sign I think later tonight I also want to get her out of the bathroom so I can do a nice cleaning of the floors and throw some pill um other blankets, some clean blankets on the ground for her. But this is her little setup. And I constantly have to change the um bathroom garbage can because I'm throwing all her the napkins that I used to stimulate her in there and the urine smell is strong. But yeah, I have her litter box over there. She has not used it. I'm really not sure what I'm gonna do to try to get her to use it. She likes all these blankets in here because she gets really cold. Um, I have this and I have her little food set up over here. So this I served on Friday. So she's been going through it and then I leave out wet food. She goes through one can a day. It might last her into the following morning, but yeah she loves her toys and then i got this scratching post from athena <laughs> and she likes it right ma'am Fernand finally named the kitten i think we're gonna keep her all based on 
how they react. Is that Athena? All based on how they interact and how all of that goes. But I named both of our pets, so I figured it's only fair that her non-names are kitten. And the name is Aphrodite. As you guys can see, I'm not that thrilled about it. But I can't complain because I've named all our pets. I always get my way. So her name is going to be Aphrodite. So it's Hazel, Athena, and Aphrodite. I personally wanted to name her Sage. Since we're Spanish and I'm never going to be able to name my children Hazel, Athena, or Sage. Because half of our family wouldn't even know how to say it. Uh, that's why I'm giving them my pets these unique names. Names that I love. So it's Athena May, Athena May, Hazel Grace, and Aphrodite. <laughs> I'm currently in my car um, we're on our way to a friend's house because they're, they're setting up for her baby shower so we're gonna work on some DIY projects and then I'll come back home but it's a gloomy day and I have my coffee here comes her non with the mats show them the mats we're at Starbucks I mean at, at Target and people aren't wearing masks Another vlog. I don't even know what I've been recording. I know I didn't really record yesterday, um, but after I got out of work, all we had was um, a review for our midterm tomorrow, uh, and the kitty was hanging out with me at my desk. So, so yeah, that's literally all I did yesterday. Nothing exciting. Uh, and today I don't have class, but I have to study. I have to review everything that he went over on the. Um, on the review so I'm hoping for a passing grade but he lost me towards the end I had no idea what he was talking about um chemistry I hate chemistry guys I hate chemistry but it's lunchtime I don't even want to think about that it's 1 14 and I came on to lunch late so I'm gonna go back late because I am taking my full break head on out for the day um today I am on triage i've been on triage this whole week except yesterday <sighs> hoping it just goes by smoothly and then i forgot that i work tomorrow so i'm on triage again tomorrow from eight to one and again i'm hoping that goes by smoothly um let's see yeah that's pretty much it i did take my midterm yesterday and I think I failed it. Um, I got a 75 and a 76 as a passing score. So I brought my grade down to a high B. Um, so I really have to like do super good on the next quizzes. And then we have a final, which is cum cumul cumulative. I can't pronounce the word, but you guys know what I'm trying to say. Um, and that's worth more than the freaking midterm. So I, I'm a little stressed, but we're like um, in the last few weeks of the session. So hoping everything goes by fine. And then today I plan to do a lot of schoolwork. I'm gonna try to get some done at work. 
as well. And what else? That's pretty much it. Nothing exciting. Uh, you can hear the cat and the kitten playing back there. Today we actually have to go to PetSmart and get some supplies. We, we're going to buy her a litter box because that little cardboard box that we've been using for her, she's making a mess. So I need a closed one. Um, and then we have to figure out where we're going to put all of that because Athena is, is in the living room. And then we have to get her some plates, probably more wet food. She's in need of some stuff because she's eating a lot. She gained, I guess, five ounces. I weighed her yesterday. Um, and yeah, but it's 7.09. I am going to hit the road and I will catch up with you guys later. Good morning, guys. It is Sunday morning, and I literally, all I did this morning was brush my teeth, half my coffee. It's 8.56, and I've been up since, like, 7.30, trying to get some schoolwork done. Um, I think once I complete my um, chemistry stuff, I'll start on some of my math, take a break, and get myself situated, and, um, yeah, try to finish everything before noon. Um, I'm more productive during the day versus at night because at night I'm, I just get so sleepy and want nothing to do with school. But I've been so stressed out with school, obviously. Chemistry has been kicking my ass. I hate chemistry. I genuinely hate chemistry. Anyways, I'm just going to sit here and finish my schoolwork and mind my business. And then um, we will get started with the day. I kind of want to go to Home Goods because they have cute stuff, but I don't know. We shall see. Oh, and then my girl over here threw up twice this morning and so I think she's a little bit on the sick side I don't know where the kitten is she's probably somewhere in my bedroom because that's where she hides um but yeah the kitten has been doing really good has been playing around like a maniac she's definitely coming out of her bubble currently six o'clock and I'm in my car waiting for my mom um we, we ordered out and we're getting some peruvian food uh i was very productive today like school wise uh as you guys saw i was up from i woke up at seven and started doing like school work at 8 30 and i didn't really stop i like stop at 11 to like clean the house because it was a mess and then I showered, Hernan came home from soccer, and um, then I resumed while he took a nap. So uh, I didn't officially finish until like 3.30 or 4. Um, and we headed over to my parents' house because my mom needed help setting up the new iPhone. So we've been there ever since. Uh, we were supposed to like get laundry done and go grocery shopping, but then my mom was like, let's order out. And of course we agreed. Let's see what else. Yeah. So, so far, a very good Sunday. When I get home, I have to study because I have a quiz on Tuesday that I need to get like an A on. So I was just watching a YouTube on, I think it's called Redox, Redox Reactions. 